what's going on? Bad Diddy back at you. Got a little video update for y'all on the mods. Um, basically, I had something similar to this video up a few months back. Um, for whatever reason, YouTube probably got rid of it. I'm not really sure what the hell happened to it. So, basically, I'm remaking that video on uh, two of the mods. And I added a third. Nothing major, something just cosmetic. Um, I think it adds flavor, adds pop to the car. But uh, I'm gonna show y'all what exactly what I got going on. Okay, YouTube. Some of y'all may already know that I did add these uh, gap trimming with these custom mo um, knobs uh, on the interior of the car. I think it looks damn good. Um, fairly inexpensive, cheap, in my opinion. And like I said, it just adds color to the inside of your car. It breaks up all this black everywhere. I also did the same thing uh, on the gear shifter, as you can see. Get that back in there like that. But yeah. So, and I also did the doors. that gap trimming the gap trimming beautiful beautiful also the steering wheel just a little something nothing crazy you know just adds color I like colors I like blacks reds yellow green but black and red is my is my all-time favorite no I'm not a Atlanta Falcons fan or Chicago Bulls fan but I am a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan, so they incorporate that. And I'm from Tampa, so. But yeah, let me open up this door. So y'all can see the gap trimming a little bit better, that red. In addition to the gap trimming, I did some red carbon fiber vinyls, as you can see. It looks awesome. You see the, the fake carbon fiber gray and the black with that red carbon fiber as well. Shout out to my homeboy Mucho over at Dreams Auto Motorsports. You know, it goes with my wheels. Open up the back door. Same thing. carbon fiber set set off with the other carbon fiber that came factory on the car with the gap trimming you know color coordinates this thing you know what I mean with the bad Hemi door steels also custom you know the red fabric on the floor mats the whole completes the whole black and red theme of the car you know looks good looks good so those are two things that I've done to all the doors. Also, up under the hood, you know, I did do some more things. Um, let me pop this hood so I can show y'all. It's hot out here in Atlanta, well, I did just get a wash, thank God. She was dirty. I think it looks damn good. It's all good. You know, 
song as color as pop as flip. Also, another thing that I did is I went and purchased on eBay. eBay is a damn good resource for shit. Is the seat cover? I mean, uh, seat belt covers. I want red seat belts, but that's a hassle to do. But I think these look great, and they was like fifteen dollars. Expen inexpensive as hell. And I also did the S in red on the seats. You know, as y'all know, they come that color, which is that creamish white. But I always wanted to change the color of that S. And look at that. Came out damn good. I'm stuck. Other side, too. You know, that red and black theme is going off in here. What y'all think? Comment, let me know. But yeah, those are several mods that I've done. Uh, the vinyl, you know, carbon fiber vinyl and the gap trimming. And the, uh, and the, your, um, half covers are red. Forgive me if I'm stuttering over my words. Had a long ass flight back from Hawaii not too long ago, so still kind of groggy. But yeah, that's that, man. Just wanted to update y'all, update y'all on what the hell I had going on. Other than that, the car's doing good, man. The car's doing good. You know, she's clean for once. Hey, Amen to that. But uh, comment down below. Let me know if y'all want to know where to get some of this stuff from. Fairly inexpensive mods. Bad hit me. I'm out. <laughs>